Have you ever wondered why your website isn't ranking on Google? I mean, you've created high quality content optimized for keywords, but it's simply not ranking. This might be because your website's technical foundation is a mess. And I've seen this countless times, and it's often because you don't know where to start. This will change with this SEO checklist. I've been testing the tool Website Auditor, which is a great tool if you need a simple checklist to optimize your website's technical foundation, which will empower your content to rank better. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and I've had my ups and downs. But before we get into that, let me show you how you set it up and analyze your website to get a checklist of tasks you need to fix on your website. The first thing you need to do is to enter your website and let the website order crawl your entire website and find issues and mistakes to fix. Next up, set up your Google Analytics so we can draw in data from here and then get a Google PageSpeed API key so we can use that as well. And don't worry, it's not as advanced as it sounds. It's super simple and the product guides you throughout the entire way. And with all this setup, you can mark all of your pages that it's already crawled and then update them with Google Analytics data and Google PageSpeed data. This means that instead of taking one page at a time, you can analyze all of your pages and have it in an overview. And that's the thing because when I started using Website Order, I, I didn't quite get it because I was thinking I would just use Ahrefs Website Order, which is completely free and super thorough but it's not the same thing because website order takes it a step further. And here you can analyze all of your pages. You can compare them side by side. And just the fact that I have a long table of all my pages where I can see bounce rate, page speed score. This is just incredible. It gives me so much information about my pages and I can easily target the pages that are not performing well. And I can see why I'll recommend that you start with the site audit because this address all the issues on your website and you can simply go through them one by one. For instance, I found some broken links on my website that Ahrefs didn't find. So I had to fix them right away. And the same goes for you when you go through this one, because it's so important to fix all of these issues for multiple reasons. But the two primary reasons are, of course, Google. It's easier for Google to crawl your website when you don't have issues which means you will rank easier and it creates a better user experience because the user doesn't experience a 404 or an image that simply doesn't show and user experience is also a ranking factor. So there's so many benefits from doing this and ensuring that you have a strong, solid technical foundation for your website. And another thing you have to remember is that every time you fix an issue that is global for your website, it impacts all of your pages and posts positively. So that's why it's so important to do and sometimes it takes less than a minute to fix these issues. And when you're through your site order, you can go to pages. And this is where you have an overview of all your pages. And you have multiple views here that you can go through where you can see different types of information. And the view that I really like is the page traffic view. Because here I can see information from Google Analytics with my bounce rate. I'm really missing engagement rate here. I hope they will add that but you can add as many columns as you want and create your own view as well if you want to see specific elements. Because what you can also do is you can see all the pages missing meta titles, for example, descriptions, all text. There's so many great information you can get for all of your pages and posts to ensure that they're completely optimized and you don't have any issues. Because what I also like to do in the page traffic is to sort it by the lowest bounce rate and then see what I'm doing well here and then go through the highest bounce rate and see what I can improve here. Even though bounce rate is not that critical because it basically just means that people go to your website and then they don't click on to another page from there. They simply leave. The reason can be that they have found what they were looking for, the answer, and then they moved on to whatever it is that they were doing. As long as they don't go back to Google, go onto your competitor's website and find an answer there then it's fine to have a bounce rate on 100% or whatever it is on your pages. But let's say that you found a post that you want to optimize. Maybe it's not ranking as well or it has a very high bounce rate. Then you can go to the page audit. You can map the keyword and then you can go from there. There you get a simple page audit that is very similar to the site audit, but it dives into some different things where you can optimize your page further. And you can do this with all of your pages if you wish to, but start with your most important pages and then go from there. You'll probably notice that the format is very similar to the site audit, so it should be fairly easy for you to fix all these issues, especially because website order tells you how to fix them. And from here, you can go to the content audit. And in the content audit, you get a content score, which is based on 18 parameters where it measures your content. 
And these parameters you have to see as guidance. Don't follow them strictly, see them as guidance because sometimes it simply doesn't make sense to add your specific keyword in italic simply just because the content report tells you to. So ask yourself whether it's important or not. But what I really like is that you get an overview of your content, it's measured on some points, and you get also how many keywords are you actually covering within your primary keyword because they're always secondary keywords. And these secondary keywords are super important to cover in order to achieve consensus in the Google search. This means that Google are looking for these specific keywords to see whether you're covering them or not. It's super important, but also be careful you don't over-optimize. Don't use the keywords too much as Google will then penalize your specific page that you're doing it on. But once you have identified what you want to optimize, you can go to the content editor. And this one is super cool because here you can choose to either just use a simple text editor or you can edit it directly on your website so you can see how it changes the look on your website. And I really like this feature. And still on the right side, you have all the keywords that you need to ensure that you're covering. You have all the competitors that you can analyze and see what they're doing that you are not doing and then improve your content from here. But I really like that it's adjusting the entire design based on your edits and your changes. So it's a super easy way to work with your content and optimize it. From there, then you can either copy and paste the entire text or you can download it as HTML. You can also go to the TF IDF section where you can see all the NLP keywords that you're covering and not covering and how well you're covering overall. So these different views are helping you to basically optimize your content. So these are the necessary steps that you have to take to ensure that your website has a strong, solid technical foundation. And you can see it's fairly simple, or at least I hope that you feel that it's simple. But let me know in the comment section what you're struggling with with your website and then I'll try to give you my feedback. And when you run this report, you might see a lot of technical issues. And if you do, then that might be the primary reason to why you're not ranking because Google can't crawl your website. That's why it's so important to focus on this because once you fix one minor detail, it will impact all of your pages and posts globally on your website. That's why it's so powerful to fix these technical issues. Even though it might for some be a little bit difficult, you just really have to cover it. And if you need help with this, then don't hesitate to reach out. And the cool thing about website order is that it's completely free to use. It's part of Link Assistant and they offer four products that you can use completely free. If you want to be able to save your projects and have some more features, then you have to pay $2.99 per year. But you also get access to four products and you get full feature access and you can save projects and much more. But you can easily use the free plan and get everything out of the product that you need to optimize your website and get a strong, solid technical foundation. So if you're a content-focused website with more than 100 pages or you have technical issues, then you should definitely check this out. And I want to give website order the four stars. It's an excellent product, but I did notice sometimes it was stalling and lagging when I was trying to perform some heavy tasks. I hope that will be fixed in the future. And by the way, do you have your SEO strategy ready for 2024? Or do you maybe just need some inputs? Then you can see what I'm doing in 2024 with my SEO strategy right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.